It's your girl Imani back with another video. So in today's YouTube video, I'm me explaining how to become a YouTuber. Okay, now if you do not know how to become a YouTuber, I'm gonna explain. Okay, so first off, um, we're gonna get into editing. Okay, now if you're editing on a computer, I recommend use iMovie. iMovie 100 percent But if you're editing on the phone, I recommend you use CapCut, Video Leap, or iMovie. Personally, my favorite app is CapCut. I'm not trying to say that Video Leap and iMovie is not good to edit on, but personally, um, I just feel like CapCut is my best because if you go watch my my like my first video in in going up, you can notice the CapCuts at the end. But like if you notice that there's CapCuts at the end, but if you do not like that, I noticed that a lot of people that edit on CapCuts did not have that at the end because they deleted it. But I'm gonna end start a screen record on how to delete the um the the CapCuts at the end. Okay, so um basically, I personally like using CapCuts because that's what I've been using for a long time. And I feel like that's the best app for me. I'm not saying that Video Liber iMovie is not good. iMovie is personally really good and I know a lot of people use iMovie but I personally feel like iMovie isn't for me. iMovie has better things than CapCuts but I feel like CapCuts is meant for me. I feel like when I get like a laptop and like actually start filming on it. Matter of fact, we're not going to get to that right now. We're going to get on to like in, in, in the next clip you're going to see like camera and phone. Like I'm not going to get to the camera and phone. But like <sighs> If I had a computer, then I would use iMovie. But personally, on my phone, I feel like iMovie is way more better for me. But yeah, and Video Leap is also really good too. Video Leap is one hundred percent good. Um, Video Leap is free. Um, CapCut is free too. Um, and iMovie is free too. You can use iMovie. Actually, comes with Apple if you have Android. It is going to come for you. It is going to come with Video Leap and CapCut should be there. I actually have an iPhone, so I don't really know if Video Leap or CapCut pops up. So if you have Android, just comment down below and um, tell me if it comes up or do not come up because I can make another video for Android and what good apps to use for Android for editing. I'm going to do all my research for that, but this is just for my personally having an iPhone and all of that but yeah okay so um video leap is like i was saying video leap is also good too it edits a lot like cap cuts but at the same time it kind of has more better features than but no cap cuts has better features than video leap i noticed that but video leap is still good like if you're a beginner and you're just starting youtube i recommend you using video leap and then work your way up to cap cuts and we'll we'll work your way up to, to video leap and then i will be thinking cap cuts well some people use all of those apps bunched up together in different apps to edit, but I personally just use one app, CapCuts, and I feel like CapCuts is the king of editing. You cannot outdo the doer, but some people might think different for me, but I feel like that's the king, and I feel like the other apps that I just mentioned is also good too, but let's just get on to the next topic. Now, we're going to be talking about... um camera and phone now i personally record off my phone i record off my iphone xr and the quality on here is some people might say the quality isn't like a camera but personally you probably don't know like what the quality actually what the quality actually looks like i'm going to insert a clip of my if me recording so i'm just gonna see you all when i start the clip so as you see um this is my phone right here so yeah and it's personally me i feel like this is good quality personally so other people people might think that my phone is in good quality like camera and personally like my best friend kyla she personally feels like if she gets a camera for youtube she hasn't started she has like a youtube channel that she started on but like she recommends her get a camera before she starts like actually posting actual youtube videos um but anyways i feel like it doesn't really matter what you record on unless it, at least if it can like 
at least if it can record. If it can record, then it's good. It can be an Android, it can have bad quality, all that stuff. Like, it can not really have bad quality. Like, the video could be laggy or anything. But, like, if it's good for you, if the, if the camera, if, wait, if it's useful and it's able to post on YouTube, use it, use it, use it. Do not worry about the quality. If your parent, if you don't, I mean, if your parents don't want to buy your camera, you save able to buy your own camera. Um, I personally like recording off my phone because I'm I'm able to edit, bring my phone with me, and like edit in different type of places and stuff like that. Like different type of places and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm talking fast. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I personally recommend editing on a phone and on the computer, but I personally like. I didn't know my phone more, but when I get a camera and a computer, then I will see what the hype is about. What the hype is about. Because people say it's better to edit on a computer than edit on your phone. And I'm like, okay. But I personally don't know about a computer. Okay, now. um, You don't know. Some people don't know the difference between a camera and which one. Because the back, people recommend you record off the back camera. Off the back camera literally like if i flip my phone around i'll flip the phone i'm recording on the front part of my camera like if i like do it from the back you won't see what's a camera like you will not know what's a camera and what's not a camera like that makes sense if it doesn't make sense then comment down below okay um let's get on to computers okay now so um first off for your computer, if you're using like a, um, I recommend a 2017 math book because they already have like the place where you can put the, we can put the chip in for your recording and stuff. But all cameras come with like that top thing. Oh, why am I opening up like something's gonna pop out? All cameras come with like that top thing, and then you better put the chip in there. You just take it out when you're done recording, then all the film that you have on there goes on there. But um, yeah. And another video I'm gonna do what comes with the camera, but that's for another video. Um, so personally, I feel like a 2017 MacBook would be really good for you because a lot of YouTubers, a lot of big YouTubers, actually have 2017 MacBooks because you know it's I feel like because it has a thing already on there. But if you want a newer version, like but it has better, like bet not better quality, what? um why am i so worried about quality right now um it has better uploading it has better um personally like if i do my um upload like if i do a video on an upload versus a, la a new laptop that came out this year 2021 the laptop is is going to upload fa upload fast and if i do like my phone compared to iphone 12 uploading faster the iphone 12 is going to upload faster um like it's gonna open up the video faster but like computer the computer is gonna do it even faster like the new um imac is going to upload even faster but um like i was saying i rec if you want to use like a samsung computer i guess i don't know what's called i don't i don't know anything about android i explain i'm probably gonna do a video on that like i said um but I'm gonna do a video on good apps to use for Android. I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna do a video on that because, you know, a lot of people have Androids. But um, yeah, I recommend. I personally recommend an Apple computer, and but like I said, I'm gonna find good apps for Androids. But now let's move on to lighting, 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 lighting. Okay, now every single YouTuber needs a ring light light okay now if you do not if you do not have the money for a ring light or anything just like it could be like a sunny day or anything just sit by the window sit by your nearest window and start like because in open up your curtains because then a light is gonna come in it's gonna be good lighting like it's literally gonna be like good lighting like I know my ring light does not have that best lighting, but I'm getting another ring light. But that's not important. Um, what can I say? You can um, basically, okay, basically, 
it doesn't really matter what type of ring light. It doesn't have to be a specific brand of ring light you have. But, like, you need to have, like, a ring light from all YouTubers. All YouTubers have ring lights. Especially if you're, like, a gamer YouTuber, a food YouTuber, whatever type of YouTuber you are. Like, um, you, you have, you gonna need a ring light okay now we're gonna go into topics okay topic topic topics if you like shoes you can you have to do more than just shoes okay now for instance if i want to post a youtube video if i want to i mean not a youtube video if i want to have a um um uh um a youtube channel about my shoes and i gonna keep making a youtube video but you gotta make your content more interesting i noticed that i don't get a lot of views on my youtube videos i noticed before y'all start coming for me but like my youtube content actually i have a specific pattern but now i'm gonna start switching up my youtube videos more because i noticed that that's starting to what my views because of my first youtube video that's my first that's my most viewed video go check it out um Go on my page and scroll down and go just go to my first YouTube video. That's my most viewed video. Um, but I'm gonna start switching up my content because you just want to have an interesting type of content like this video. Somebody's most likely to click on this video because they want to know how to have a successful YouTube channel. And you need to, you don't need to just stay on that specific topic because that topic like i noticed that with my youtube channel that topic is gonna start instead of it going like this instead of it going like instead of it going like it's gonna start going like your views are gonna start going down and i noticed that with mine so in my youtube channel people personally don't enjoy watching vlogs and stuff like that so i'm gonna start switching up my content okay now oh my god i just did a lot of talking i haven't i haven't like took a break from talking like i usually do my other videos but i am gonna start switching up my content but yeah we're coming to the end of today's youtube video sorry if the youtube video felt kind of short to you to me the youtube video is kind of long but sorry if you do not understand anything that I'm saying, comment down below. I am can make another YouTube video. But thank you for watching today's YouTube video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you know by every time I post a new video. See you all in the next YouTube video.